Hey, I'm going to show you guys my son's Lost Tools of Writing binder that I have set up for him. I like to do his Lost Tools in one binder and all of the other strands in a second binder. Anyway, so I have this little grid here with uh, basically it's like a scope and sequence of what tool is learned when. I have, this was more for me, it tells me what documents I need when. I posted this one earlier today. I made one copy of the five common topics. It's in a protective sheet so it can just be looked at it easily. I have this flow chart here. This was the other document I posted earlier today that has basically each book, everything, just step by step down that has to be taken care of, watching videos and so forth. I think it's easier to look at than the guide. We've got it all at, all kind of in one spot here. Anyway, that goes through all of the books. And then the way I have it organized is one tab for each of the books that we read. Mine, Witch in the Wardrobe, Mr. Got It, so forth. And all of the worksheets, I copied them, they're here, ready to go. This particular kid, he's pretty independent. He likes to just go with it. He also is good at self-edits, so he likes having these checklists. Um, he was really good at this with IEW and Essentials and he would edit himself. So anyway, everything's in here. And then you can tell the farther we get, like let's say we come way back here to the door in the wall for the Annie chart. Um, by then we're just using open paper because you don't have room. And then all of the worksheets are all printed and ready to, ready to go with the outline. I have all the invention, then the arrangement, then the elocution stuff is all in here. And then it's finished out with the checklist. So saves me a lot of time during the year. I hope this is helpful.